So this is just a quick tour of my craft room slash filming studio and how I created an alternative to the dream box from craft room, which is a craft cabinet that closes up to kind of look like an armoire. I wanted a lot of the storage functionality, but I didn't need the closing situation. I just, I had this open wall and I wanted to utilize a lot of different storage features. So these are actually three Calyx units and I purchased legs off of Etsy. But these drawers are actually from a company called Best Craft Organization. And these are very similar to the functionality that the Dreambox offers in that these little plastic drawers come out and I can take them over to my workstation if I'm working on a project. And then I could also customize them so I could select the height. So this is the medium height, this is the deeper height. So in here I've got all my punches and my different um, labels and various different supplies or whatnot. And so I'm really pleased with these being an alternative, both for the price point and also, also the functionality. They fit perfectly into the Calax um, cubby holes. And so I'm in the process of getting all of the labels added for all of my different craft supplies. Um, so these are a couple of uh, placeholders for when I get the rest made. Um, but it's great to be able to just have a variety. I mean, I have paint and stir stick stuff. I have my sewing supplies. I've got a postage scale. So these are nice and deep as far as, as, far as the drawers and they're super easy. All you do is just insert these three panels into the Calax um, opening and then these little rails can be placed wherever depending on which drawer you purchase. And so I got all of those. Um, and then these drawers are actually, or these uh, inserts are actually from Target because I found that Target was cheaper than Ikea uh, and I like the aesthetic better. And these inserts are actually also from Target. They're from Bright Room. Um, and so I use them as kind of file folders for lack of a better term and so I place them in these drawers kind of you can fit three this lid is coming off and I I'm not gonna be able to resolve that with one hand but so basically I can put little labels on here and kind of create like larger uh, traveling containers and so I've got those three that's for my charging cord accessories um, and then what I also did was these doors were available on Etsy and so I'm able just to use the shelving for all of my tools and items like that. I've got the larger cutting mats and a light board for when I'm um, using my Cricut for different things. This is how I organize all of my cardstock. So these are actually just cardboard um, kind of containers and then now I can't get it back in with one hand. All right, so we're back. I got it back in. So I bought these sleeves, and so I'm able to put um, specific colored paper in the sleeve and divvy it up. So it's all sorted by color, both 8.5 by 11 and then 12 by 12. And then these little pockets kind of separate the colors. So I know that's the green color and then the purples and the blues. So that's all my solid card stock. Then I've got this one and this is all of my pattern card stock. So I'm able to kind of pull it out, access what I need, put it back in, keep it all nice and tidy without a significant investment into organizing and kind of managing it all. Then this is my HTV vinyl things. So in these pockets, I will put the just scraps of vinyl and the 12 by 12 vinyl. Um, when I buy taller ones, they kind of just fold up or I fold them. Um, a lot of this stuff is either from Dollar Tree or possibly Hobby Lobby. And so I just kind of pop it in because I obviously don't have a huge supply. Um, but 
and then there's just kind of overflow. And so this uh, was my solution to the alternative to the dream box. Um, and I was so pleased with this that we are now in my primary closet and I was so pleased with the functionality of the Calax with the drawers that when I recently remodeled this closet, I basically replicated the functionality that I was getting in my office studio here in my closet. So these are actually two of the four by four Calax units stacked on top of each other. But whereas in my studio, I was using the shelves for craft organizing and just knickknacks, and here I am actually using the exact same containers to organize my earrings and jewelry. So these are inserts that Best Craft Organizer sells in order to divvy up like beads, craft beads and stuff like that. But I'm using them for my earrings. So I've got my studs, I've got my hoops, and then I've got my longer dangly things. Then I've got a deeper one for my different um, like necklaces, my lengthy necklaces. Um, then, you know, I've got additional drawers for like headphones and whatnot. Uh, then just miscellaneous stuff, more jewelry over here. So I really found a lot of value in these storage units so much that I purchased them a second time and created this setup in my office. And then the only distinction here is you can see the labels that I used in here. Since it's my closet, I didn't want to use the text labels. So instead I went for the icons. And one last detail is I actually painted I spray painted these drawers to match the white of the Ikea Calax. So I will insert a video, oh, there it is. I will insert a video or image of what they look like before spray painted. It's still white, but it's just more of a bluish white. I wanted them to look really cohesive with all of the other um, white in this closet. And if you want to see a full tour of this closet, just check in my videos because I will also have a quick tour of this closet for someone who requested it who is remodeling their primary closet as well. So hopefully this gives you some ideas or inspiration if you're in the market for looking to organize your stuff.